Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to Lightroom Blog. It's Friday, so it's Photo Friday. And this time I'm going to do uh, how I lit this. So it's going to be short and sweet. And um, before I showed an image of Emma, with lots of gels and stuff like that. And this is another shot of Emma, um, but it's much more simple. And the reason why I'm doing this as the second shot is both of these shots did really well in competition in the Irish Professional Photographers Association Awards. So I'm just uh, using them. So this is a simple kind of look that I would use for a lot of clients. And I'm going to talk about what I like in it in particular. So as you can see, I've done a little bit of styling with it as well. So we have the skirt is something I got from Mr. Pretty on eBay. It will be popular with people in Sue Bryce Education's world. Um, and so then I, I paired it with a lace top and some roses that I just got from uh, Pennies, which is also known as Primark in the UK. So that's the basic styling. So the posing is done to create a lot of shape. So I'm deliberately trying to create bends in the wrists and curves in the fingers for soft hands. I've also got Emma to pull her shoulders in a little bit to create a little bit more definition in her collarbone. And then I've had her looking away from camera as well, but not too far away so that we see lots of white in the eyes. I want to be able to see the pupils correctly. So the actual lighting on this is really, really straightforward. It's one of my, my favorite lighting modifiers. So this happens to be the Ellen Chrome 135 centimeter Octobox, which I got recently enough. I had been using a five foot Octa before that, but I, I just love the look of this one. The actual light is much softer than on the Octa that I did have, so it's absolutely gorgeous. And the great thing is that this can be used with the Godox bracket that I've shown before, so you can use it with speed lights and things like the AD360. But in this case, I was using it on an Ellen Chrome light, which is the ELC 500 Pro HD, which is kind of the new uh, mid-range light that they have. I love it. They're, I've got a pair of them and they're really, really nice. They go down really, really, really low. So you can shoot it like F2 in the studio with them. They're, they're that good. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a fairly simple layout. On the left-hand side uh, of the camera, um, we can see that we have the Octa and it's slightly behind the model and aimed in such a way as to wrap around. So we just jump back here. You can actually see that the shadow on the nose, the shadow on the nose is and that, that'll tell you where the light is coming from. And then we can see by the cheek that there's a small bit of light on the cheek. And so because there's a small bit of light on the cheek, I'm just gonna move the mic. Because there's a small bit of light, light on the cheek, we know that the light isn't the whole way around. And then because of the fact that that would cause the, the rest of the cheek to go into shadow quite a fair bit, what I've done is I've brought in a V flat here. So I've shown that as a white reflector. Any white reflector will do that's bouncing in, but it needs to be reasonably big uh, to match what's happening with the Octa itself. So it's a really, really straightforward lighting setup and it can be used for lots of things. This is kind of a typical setup that you could use for newborns, for example. Um, and the reason why I've lit it this way with what's called short light is that it gives a flattering light to the face and because it's creating shadow on the face, it gives lots and lots of shape, uh, which I love. So it's one of my favorite lighting uh, setups to use. It's also very, very uh, flattering. And if you use harder lights, you can actually create very dramatic light with it as well. So folks, thanks for watching. Uh, of course, I do stuff like this on Photo Friday. So if you like this, do subscribe. There's Lightroom stuff on Tuesdays, as well as occasional bonus videos. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, you can, of course, uh, hit the notification bell as well. So not only are you subscribed, but you'll get notifications to say that a new video has gone online. Folks, thanks for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you in the next video.